Good afternoon. I'm Tiro, and let's kill the magnate. Here, come this way. And we're on the roof. And you see those little dolphin statues? They're the exact same ones from the first game, so another Easter egg. Oh, my son was useless, but I still have some luck. You brought me the Magi! And here we have Magnate, who... Although he's not listed as a new god, he pretty sure looks and acts like one. But out of for the shadows. And he's a pretty tough boss, as I have experienced, because he uses Tornado, which there's no way to block it, and it uh, deals damage to the whole party. So that means I have to do a little cure juggling. A little less cure juggling because Lur is gone, so I just have to worry about Taro and myself. Man, and this is weird because this is take four, and the first two takes they were just easy fights. Or I should say lucky fights. And let's see. When you examine the dolphin statue, which you can, it brings up the dolphin monster. Which is a special optional boss. It's very strong, gives no gold, gives no meter items, but it's there for your pleasure. And it's very annoying because it uses Whirl and Tornado often, so that's no fun. Oh, now I know why he's immune to Thunder. Keep using Aegis. Or was that last battle? I lost track. And here we have the stupid magnate, which I'm guessing is either a reference to Shinto religion, or maybe kind of looks like some Kabuki character, maybe. I don't know, my Japanese culture is somewhat limited. And let's pick me up a bit. What else can I say? Did I talk about the samurai bow? If not, I'll do it now. Samurai Boy is the strongest bow in the game, so it deals the most damage, raises the most agility. Also because it's the strongest of its type, that means it attacks the group. So that solves my robot problems. And also, as a side effect, it never misses, so that's pretty good. Nighttime, yay! You! Receive fire, ice, thunder, and poison. We did it. Now what, Taro? Well, uh, uh, Hana? Taro, oh, I'm embarrassed. You two look great together. Good, good, ho, ho, ho. Ten more magi left to go. Yes. And it's true, we only have 67. So, we're in the home stretch. We. Open. Da, da. Mm. It's kind of odd because when you first start the game, 77 is a whole lot, but when you get them in groups, it's not too bad. And here we have a cloudy world. Fire Moth. I'll just uh, fire you. <laughs> Receive damage. Look at that. Nightmare. I'll give you nightmares. I somewhat like that this game has like horse monsters. Because you don't think of monster horses as monsters. Let's see. And creepy music, although we have super happy fun time pink. Run away! This dungeon is mean and nasty. Better not go in. Magi? I have one in this box, but not anymore. Receive Pegasus. Haha. <laughs> and this girl is true. This is known as the Nasty Dungeon, and it is pretty nasty. It's probably an example of uh, one of the earliest optional super dungeons. Uh, you kind of think Hell Temple or uh, all those bonus dungeons whenever they re release the new Final Fantasy. It's completely optional, but and it is rather nasty. The nastiness comes from the dungeon design, like right over there. Very long corridors that you have to go down and you just don't know until it's too late whether or not it has a treasure or an exit, so... That's kinda bad, especially when you have tough monsters. 
receive nightmares meat. And I'm gonna try it on you. Let's change it to warrior, I know, crummy monster. So let's go an example. Here I have two tunnels. And then when I go I have this long track until I can't see till it's too late what's at the end. Catwoman. Uh-huh. Bash, Aegis and Song. And the Lancy Dungeon has one of a kind weapons and equipment which are very strong and powerful. However, unlike most games it doesn't have the I don't I don't know what the term is, but basically it's kind of like change into adamant. Oh, it's the normal scenario, you know. The ability to fight the la the extra boss is more than the ability to fight the final boss. And so you kind of lose the point of going there because it may give you like the super sword, but the idea is you already fought the strongest character in the game. So there's no point. Here there's nothing like that except the toughness of the dungeon. So you can get the super items and enjoy the ending. And I'm full. And I think that's all I can say about the nasty dungeon. I'll come to it later. I'm not sure if I'll do it montage or actually show it because it can get boring. And here's a Pegasus Magi. It's the second Magi you can actually use. And it takes you to wherever you've been. So I'm going to use it on the nasty dungeon to warp back to the beginning. And new scheme. Run a, well, no, you actually might be good. Give me some meat. Uh -huh. Weekly. Darn. Da -da. Going up. Whee! Yeah, nasty dungeon's pretty short world, but then again, it is optional. And whoa, that's new. Where's the little platform? I guess this is the uh, final world. Ooh, clouds. Boingy, 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 boingy. Well, enough of that. I guess we're in paradise or something. Ooh, castle. And... Whoa. I've heard this music before. And I've seen this rock before. And you guys might know where this is going to. <clears throat> so in any case, I have to stop because I need proper preparation. Which means a montage. So, until next time, I'm Tiro, and have fun gaming. See ya!